I've worked with many dog owners rehabilitate from their low back pain. And one of the most common problems is trying to carry dog food. In some cases, the bags can actually weigh even more than the dogs themselves. Now, there are many opportunities for someone to hurt their back when managing big bags of dog food. One is going to be putting it into the shopping cart, from the shopping cart to the cashier, back into your cart, into the car, to your home, and then ultimately into the dog's bowl. I could easily say to avoid these activities altogether, but would you really want to deprive your furry little friend of food? Probably not. So here's some strategies on how to ensure that you can pick up and carry food for your companion without hurting or thinking about hurting your back. One, you have to keep the bag close to you. If you can hug it, even better. Don't worry, I promise you that dog food smell will get off your clothes, but this is actually going to allow you to keep your center of mass right in the middle of your foot, taking the stress off your back. You're also going to be able to contract your core so that you don't collapse underneath the weight. This is for both carrying and picking up the bag itself. Number two, when picking it up from the floor, you have to lower your hips so they can use them to pick the food off from the ground. The key thing is lifting with your hips and not with your legs. That means use your hamstrings and glutes to pick up the weight rather than your quads. The third step is breathing. It can be really easy to hold your breath, which in theory helps with maintaining core tension, but unless you truly take another breath, you're just gonna collapse. So do yourself a favor, take a breath every now and then, and the best way to do that is by forcefully pulling air into your body by making some noise as you breathe. So think about and then blowing out the hands, and you're gonna notice a huge difference. Number four, when lowering the bag down to the ground, ensure that you drive the hips back and hinge your torso forward. I promise you that you won't collapse and your back will feel great. And number five, last but not least, you can just order this food from a delivery service that can bring the food straight to your door. As a result, a shorter trip and less chances of lifting something with an injured back. The great news is that picking up dog food is really no different than picking up after your dog or even picking up your dog. The principles are gonna be the same where you're focusing on movement at your hips. So if you're ready to make changes and be in a position so that you can play and care for your dog without back pain, then book a free strategy call with us today by clicking on the link below or emailing us at ashley at hudsonriffitness.net. Talk soon.